Yeah, this is Digit Murphy, another episode of Digit Says. Woo! Here, here we, we are. are, here we are. So what are we thinking? You guys lost. We did. I'm sorry. But it was incredible. It was the most fun I've ever had playing with meeting new people and to see the different skill levels and see how you fit into a new team. You don't really expect to do that no, after college. You don't. You don't. And it, you learn so much more about yourself and then creating opportunities for someone else to do it next. It's incredible. So uh, you get a little shiner there. I do. Let's show, let's I show do. the camera. All right. How's it look? What happened? What happened? So I wish I could say it happened in a sick defensive play on oh. the field today, but it was actually at camp last week. Oh. I got Don't back tell checked. anyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. It happened in this game. <laughs> um, and check to the face, but I feel like a warrior. And you, you look like a warrior. I just, I just wanted to look the part today. That's so, really why I did it. So uh, talk a little bit about the league and uh, this year, what it meant to you. The coolest thing was watching everyone figure it out together. Yeah. And I think that's the truest thing about women's sports. It takes you, it, it ha takes figuring out, yeah. and everyone brought different ideas, and we implemented them, and then we realized we needed improvements, and we were excited to improve and change and grow and. I, I hope that that stays with us because look what we've done. It's I'm, unbelievable, you know, and you look at it like we're on ESPN3. I know, okay? how you know, is well, that? you know, I mean, and you have to give a shout out to ESPNW, okay? Uh, they're the ones that kind of turned us on to really? this. Really? Yep. I love and, that. And they're very much about empowering women, so, you know, they opened the door to ESPN3 for us. I just started following um, them on Instagram. They're doing yeah, great you stuff. You have to, you have to. And it's all about women helping women. Mm -hmm. And um, part of this whole initiative that we started with UWLX is how do we help the players become leaders and role models mm -hmm. for the little girls. Yep. So, you know, what did you think about playing in front of those little girls? Did you have any funny stories that, you know, you might be able to share when this, you know, whatever happened at one of our games or anything? Um, no? I think the best part is when they come up and they see their faces light up. Yeah. They're, they look at you like... You're a god. Like you're a god. And, and like they want to be there one day. And that's the whole point of it, to inspire them to be more than what they are now. And any whether you can do that in sports or in life or be an example of someone to bring them up, up that's incredible. So, so that was really cool. So I want you to give a little 30 second of who you are, what you do now, and how awesome you are. Right there, go. go. <laughs> uh, Meg Decker, born and raised in Baltimore, played at Loyola and the head coach at University of Hartford in Connecticut. Well, that's pretty cool that we have these kind of people with UWLX. So we're hoping that we're going to build great, great, great things in the future, and we're here to help. So really great. Thank great, you so great. much. All right. Well, that's it. Awesome. Digit says Woo! over and out.